In 1928, at St. Mary's Hospital, London, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin. This led to the introduction of antibiotics, which has since shaped human history. However, like many times in our human history, our boons have been exhausted to the point where they turn into banes. The growing issue of antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, is one such classic example where unsustainable practices are leading to a human-induced disaster. Growing antimicrobial resistance basically means that humanity's defenses against infection are wearing thinner and the microbes responsible are getting stronger. This has reached an alarming level. Let us look at some figures. In 2021, we estimated 4.71 million deaths were associated with bacterial AMR, including 1.14 million deaths directly caused by bacterial AMR. In the same year, HIV killed about 0.7 million and malaria 0.6 million. The 2022 report of Global Antimicrobial Resistance and EU Surveillance System or GLAS highlights alarming resistance rates among prevalent bacterial pathogens. In addition to death and disability, AMR has significant economic costs. During an infection, bacteria multiply rapidly. In the process, they copy their genetic material millions of times. While doing so, mistakes often happen and every mistake slightly alters their genomes. These errors are called mutations. More often than not, mutations have little to no effect or are highly detrimental to the effectiveness of the bacteria. But sometimes, bacterial pathogens can get lucky and a mutation can prevent an antibiotic from entering a cell or change the site where a drug or an antibody would bind, stopping them from working. This is called resistance or escape mutations. Food that we eat is increasingly being produced in intensive industrial systems. Such systems are characterized by four things. One, large-scale farms with high stocking density of animals, birds or fish. Two, genetically selected breeds for productivity and not disease resilience. Third, confined conditions with limited focus on animal husbandry. And finally, commercial feed laden with chemicals. All of this leads to more disease on farms and the need for more chemicals, including antibiotics. With more antibiotic use, such farms become a breeding ground for antibiotic resistance. So what is the solution? To address AMR globally, countries adopted the Global Action Plan GAP, on AMR during the 2015 World Health Assembly and committed to the development and implementation of multi-sectoral national action plans with a One Health approach to tackle AMR. To coordinate the One Health global response to AMR, WHO works closely with the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, of the United Nations, the UN Environment Programme UNEP, and the World Organization for Animal Health. The four organizations are known as the Quadripartite. Global governance structures such as the Global Leaders Group on AMR is also in place. At the country level, comprehensive, multi-sectoral and ambitious national action plans on AMR have been developed. As of November 2023, 178 countries had developed AMR national action plans aligned with the Global Action Plan, including India. India is especially at danger of an explosion of AMR and developing countries like India thus need a whole of society and whole of government approach. So, we need to rethink the AMR agenda. First, the development agenda. Rethink the way we grow our food to reduce dependence on chemicals, antibiotics, and yet ensure that we can continue to increase food production. Second, the conservation agenda. Reduce the misuse and overuse of antibiotics in livestock, aquaculture, and crops. Third, the environmental agenda. Ensure that waste from food systems, pharmaceutical manufacturing, and human health systems is effectively managed to contain AMR. 
and finally the prevention agenda there should be greater focus on preventive approaches such as wash biosecurity good animal husbandry and use of alternatives so that disease is reduced and so is the need of antibiotics amr is a complex issue its rise is due to unsustainable practices in overlapping ecosystems of animal environmental and human health therefore it requires a harmonized approach spread across sectors that contribute to drug resistance from the 18th to the 24th of november the world amr awareness week is being observed cse and down to earth will also participate in the go blue campaign initiated by who in the upcoming videos we'll speak with experts and present analysis to raise awareness around amr <laughs>